So tell me, how do you make a guy fall head over you? You whisper in his ear and you lick his neck. And then you tell him your name. Welcome back to my dating place. All right, it's time to meet our first single. She's a busy lady, but she can still make time to have fun with friends. This sexy mama's looking for a tall and studly guy who can make her feel special. Let's meet our next single, profile number 18767. Her name is Shannon. Hi, my name is Shannon. I live in the Mesa area. I'm a bartender at night and a mommy by day. I have four children. I believe in karma. I believe if you're good to people, think good things will come to you. I'm looking for a man that obviously likes kids because I have a lot of them. I need someone to sweep me off my feet. I don't, I'm, I'm not looking for someone that's just going to sit by the sidelines and not try. I need someone that's going to want to try. And she's here today. Shannon, how are you? I'm good. Thanks for coming on the show. So, what's your story? Um, a single mom of four. Single mom of four. Yes, I'm a bartender at night, uh -huh. and I stay home with the twin boys at, um, during the day. you got twin boys? Yes. How old are they? They're five. So how old are the kids? you got two five-year-olds. And then I have an 11-year-old son and a nine-year-old daughter. So you are busy. Yes. But you're making time now. Yes, And tell I am. me why you decided to make time now. Um, it's time. Yes, I've been just hanging out for two and a half years with the kids, so... So what kind of guy are you looking for? Um, you know, with the four kids, you know, that's a different, right. that's a different type of guy. Someone that um, obviously likes kids yeah. and um, settled more not into the bar scene, yeah. likes to go out to dinner, hang out, not, mm -hmm. not the whole drinking thing. So you don't want to meet anybody at work? No, <laughs> no one at work. <laughs> Nobody at work. You work at a bar, but you don't want anybody who has anything to do with the bar. Right. Okay. Tell me Mr. Right for you. Um, he's got to be honest is number one. Sensitive. No liars. No liars. Sensitive? Sensitive. All right. So if you want to date Shannon, here's what you do. You go to myfoxphoenix.com, click on my dating place, type in her profile number. Remember, she's 18767. Hit the date me button to send her a message. It's going to be a lot of fun. Four kids. That's fun. Thank you. I think it is. All right, let's change gears and take a little time for Dating 101. We hit the Valley Streets recently to get some of your answers to our latest dating question. Let's see what it is. So what do you think? Is chivalry dead? You know, I really don't think so. Honestly, like, I have a boyfriend right now, and he opens the door for me. He, you know, does everything a gentleman should. Any advice for those guys out there trying to be a little bit more chivalrous? They gotta read up because there's a lot of rules, man. You gotta open those doors, you gotta pay for those dinners, you gotta be sweet. Don't try and get in their pants. Is chivalry dead? Uh, I guess it depends where you go. How do you feel about it? How do I feel about it? Well, I was raised that, uh, you know, a guy has to respect a woman, he does certain things for a woman, but not everybody's raised that way. So you're one of the very rare chivalrous guys in Scottsdale? I would like to think so. How well do you treat a woman? How well do I treat a woman? As well as she deserves. I believe so. Why do you think that? Because I've been on a few dates and uh, just the action, the way the guys are, it's just not there anymore. What's the worst thing a guy's done lately? Um, I might be out on a date and then not pay and yeah. You didn't call him afterwards, right? Definitely no. But actually he did call me again and invite me out and I didn't answer. Absolutely not. It's dying. But I'm working on bringing romance back to Scottsdale where it's in short supply, uh, but I'm working on it. How do you plan on doing that? Uh, the first act is I need a girlfriend, and then I'm going to have so much fun with my girlfriend that everybody gets jealous and says I should have that special thing with somebody. Stay tuned to check out the great people we have lined up for our next show. Stay tuned. My dating place will be right back. My dating place. Well, it's been a great show. Let's check out some of the hot singles we have seen today. Jill, profile number 5151. 
profile number 18767, Shannon. And now let's take a look at the Valley Singles, who you'll see next time. Always remember, if you want to be on the show or if you have dating success stories you'd like to share, contact us on the website. Make my dating place your dating place. Just go to myfoxphoenix.com, click on my dating place, and get dating. I'm Yetta Gibson. We'll see you next time. These profiles are just examples of what you can find on My Dating Place. We aren't suggesting you go on a date with any particular person. Always remember to look over the My Dating Place safety tips before arranging a date.